Now that we've had a look at the VBA IDE, let's write some code. I've started Excel, I've got a brand new workbook, I haven't saved it yet, and I'm going to press Alt F11 to toggle into the IDE. To begin programming I need a module, so I'm going to right click anywhere on the Project Explorer and insert a module. I can change the name of the module if I want to, but I'm happy to leave that as it is for now. Let's start with a simple sub-procedure which displays a few messages one after another. So I write sub and then the name of the procedure, I'll call it something like simple1, press enter and here I can see another feature of the IDE. I've broken the rules of the programming language. This is called a syntax error. I'm not allowed a space in a procedure name. So I need to deal with that right away. I'll just remove that space and when I press enter everything looks fine. Let's begin with a simple message box on the screen like we did before. MSG box and then a string of characters wrapped inside double quotes. Notice I'm typing in lowercase. MSG box is in lowercase because I want to see it recapitalized which will let me know I've spelt it correctly. I'm also getting a little prompt here as well. A little bit of help on how to use the command. We'll talk more about that later. Press enter. It's recapitalized. I know I've spelt it correctly. Let's have another message. Again a string of characters wrapped inside double quotes and then a final message three messages one after another and I'll run this program by pressing F5 and you can see as I dismiss each message the next one is displayed and then we finally come to an end. Very simple but it illustrates an extremely important concept that a procedure is a sequence of commands which are executed one after another. Let's write another procedure. I'm going to call this one simple2. No mistakes this time. This is a separate sub-procedure. The reason it's called a sub-procedure is because a big application may well consist of several different sub-procedures which can call each other, they can pass control to each other. I'll show you how in just a moment. Let's put a couple of commands in. Goodbye. Whoops. Actually it doesn't really matter if I don't spell that correctly because it's inside double quotes, it'll just be taken literally. See you soon. and I'll test this procedure with F5 and that seems to be working fine. If I place my cursor between the two procedures and press F5 VBA doesn't know which one I want to execute so it's throwing up a little list and asking me to select one of them. I usually cancel out of this and just make sure that my cursor is in the right place before I hit F5. Let's get simple one to call simple2. Very easy, I just use the call keyword and then the name of the procedure I want to call. So this procedure is now going to call simple2. Let's run simple1. Running as per normal and then you can see it's passed control to the second procedure which eventually comes to an end we can see a little bit better what's going on if I put another message box statement here and I'm going to run the first program again hello how are you I hope you are fine that's the first program then the call takes place and the second program is now running and when the second program is finished it passes control back to its caller which executes any code that appears after the call statement. Just clean up some of this white space here and let's write another one. Whoop, sub simple3 I'll put a message box statement in there
and let's get the second one to call the third one. I'm going to run the first one, executes its first three lines of code, passes control to the second procedure, which executes two lines of code, and then it calls the third one. And eventually control is passed back to the caller. A nice way to see what's really going on is to step through the code. Now, a rather handy toolbar I can use is called the Debug Toolbar. And I can switch that on here. View, Toolbars, that's the Debug Toolbar. I'll just dock it at the top. That'll be there next time I come into VBA. And the button I want to use this time is this one, Step Into. And it tells me as well I can get the same effect with F8. So let's give that a go. Instead of F5, I'm going to run it by pressing F8. And what it's doing is highlighting the line of code that it's about to execute next. So I press F8 again. There's the first message. F8 again. There's the second message. What's important here is I'm stepping through the code line by line. Now it's about to call the next procedure, and I can see it's passed control to the second procedure, and again, stepping through line by line, I can see what's going on. That's the third procedure. When the third procedure is finished, it passes control back to its caller. Of course, there's nothing else to do in here, so it passes control back to its caller immediately after the call statement all done. So to summarize, an application can consist of several different sub-procedures which can call each other. And as you can see here, we can have a calling chain where one procedure calls another, which then calls another, which may of course in turn call another. Another nice feature of the IDE is the ability to step through the code using F8. We call this white box testing, or it's sometimes called glass box testing, because you can see what's going on inside. 